Hi guys, this is the look that I created today. I got my idea from Bridget from the Girls Next Door. I watched the uh, show last night, which was Sunday night, um, and I believe they were in Louisiana. Um, and she had her, in some of like the interview parts, she had her hair like this. I thought it looked so cute. So I wanted to try it. I figured it would be really, really fun. Spring's coming up and stuff. So, um, plus today's a crazy windy day. So I figured this would be a great hairstyle for that. So I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching to find out how to do it. Bye. Okay guys, so to get started with our look, I've kind of, my hair was a little bit curly already today. Um, and you're going to need a curling iron. It depends on what size you want, but I'm going to use, I think this is like a one inch, this is a Conair curling iron. You're going to need some um, texture cream. This is Dove Defined Texture Molding Cream. So I'm going to use that. And then you'll need some hair clips to pin your hair out of the way and hair ties. The, how we're going to start is, I've kind of already done it, is just part your hair evenly down the back to have two parts on the sides of your head. And then take the part that you're actually not going to use or be using right now and just pin it out of the way. This is just so you don't mix up the hair. Um, so just pin that out of the way. And then we're going to start on the hair on the other side. And what we're going to do is take that um, texturizing cream, just put a little bit in your hands on the tips of your fingers and just rub it together. And just run that through your hair. This is going to kind of keep the little hairs um, from, you know, coming out too much of the braid. Even though, you know, I have layers so they're probably going to stick out anyways, but this just helps a little bit to make it... Um, Stay in the braid just a little bit. So just run that through your hair. And then what you're going to do is take and part your hair evenly just down the middle to where you'll have two um, even pieces on the side. Okay, and then we're going to do a fishtail braid. Now bear with me because I'm not the greatest at fishtail braids, so if you don't really know how to do it and my directions aren't that great and you'll probably have to maybe look up somewhere online just a fishtail braid um, and so what you're going to do is start with the back hair and you're going to just take a piece of that hair a little piece about that thick and pull that into the inside of the, the first strand of hair that you have up here just like that and then you're going to do the same thing with this side and make sure you're pulling tight, try to keep it as tight as you can, that way the braid will stay together pretty well. Hmm. And then just continue to do that. And then every once in a while just straighten out your braid and just continue doing that back and forth. I do have a lot of layers so it's a little bit hard to get them all in there but we're going to try our best. Try to keep the braid neat, you know, at least as neat as you can, and that will help from the hairs coming out. So we just continue to do that. Now this is a messy look so you don't have to worry too much about the braid. It's kind of your preference. If you don't want a lot of hair sticking out then spend a little more time doing the braid. That's kind of why I put the texturizing cream on so hopefully that will help me because I have so many layers I don't know if they're actually going to stay inside of the braid. So just continue. See like that piece right there is coming out. Now I could do a fishtail braid, but I cannot for the life of me do a French braid and I have no clue why. And of course now my phone's ringing. Hang on just a sec. Okay, love you. Bye. Sorry, that was my husband. While we were on the phone I finished my braid. You could see the little hair sticking out, but that's about as good as it's going to get. So. 
So just go ahead and tie your braid up. Okay. And that's pretty much that braid there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm done with my braids. Now what we're going to do, I you probably should maybe do this before you braid your hair, but I didn't think about it until now. So um, what we're going to do now is just take little pieces of your hair and try to pull some of them out. You're just going to take real thin pieces. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty thin. You could take a little bit thicker than that. Just take out as many as you want um, in the front and in the back. But if you have layers, they'll come out pretty easily. So um, just take out a few of them here and there. Yeah, it'd probably be a lot easier to do this before you braid your hair. But I'm not being very smart today. Same thing, not that much. Okay, then you're gonna take your curling iron, whatever size you want, depending on how you want the um, little pieces, how curly you want them to be. So, just go ahead and take them. And you're just gonna curl them in opposite directions. So this one I'm gonna curl back. I'm gonna keep the ends out just a tiny bit out of the curling iron so that it'll be straight on the end. And then I'll curl this one forward. Sorry. Lip syncing. <laughs> okay, and then if you get these weird ones, just do what you can with them to tame them. We can also use hairspray too, so that'll help. Is Aussie. Um, awesome volume hairspray. So I'm gonna go ahead and instead of actually spraying my hair, I'm gonna spray my hands, just the tops of my hands, and just kind of run the hairspray through the little ringlets that I just created. You could definitely create this look, um, a little bit more, I guess, messy if you want. If you wanted to pull some more hair out, that's fine. That'd be good. But I was thinking, if I pull too much out, it, some of it's going to fall out anyways by the end of the, you know, by the time I go outside. It's like way windy today. So I figured I would just pull a little bit and seriously by the end of the day, there'll be a lot more out. So now what I'm going to do with my bangs is they're already pretty straight. I'm just gonna brush through them, pull them straight up, and then just kind of tease them a little bit, give it a little bit of volume in the front. Okay, and if you want to, you can add a little hairspray. If you want to add some hairspray to the braid, and then kind of squeeze the braid together with your fingers that will keep some of hair. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me give you guys a spin around let you know what it looks like. Hopefully I got all my little hairs back here. I hope you guys have a good day. Bye!